Okay, so we're told we have two similar tri uh, rectangles. Now, similar means that one's an enlargement of the other, so everything grows in proportion. Okay, we have two lengths. We've got this length and this length. So we can work out a scale factor, like what we times that by to get to that. And to do that, we do, so this linear scale factor is a big length over small length and they're both at the bottom of the rectangle so it's going to be 144.5 over 17. Now the two lengths need to be corresponding which means they're in the same location uh, on both the rectangles so I'm going to do that and I get the answer of 8.5 there we go okay now the reason I say linear scale factor is we actually have different scale factors depending on whether we have a length, an area, or a volume. Now here, it's all about area. It's what's the new area going to be. Now you might be tempted to think, well, if we times this by 8.5, then we times that by 8.5, but that's not correct. Because it's an area, we need to convert the linear scale factor into an area scale factor. And it's really simple. What you've got to do is times by 8.5 for every dimension. Now that's great when we have linear, because linear or lines are all one dimensional. But an area is not one dimensional, it's two dimensional. So the area scale factor will be the linear scale factor times by itself. So times 8.5 times 8.5, or just 8.5 squared. Now that's not the same as 8.5 times two. So when I do on the calculator 8.5 squared, I get 72.25, and that's our area scale factor. So to work out what's going to be, I'm going to get my uh, area of the small rectangle, which is 51. I'm going to times it by the area scale factor, okay, which is the linear scale factor squared, and I get the answer of... 3,684.75. Now, don't be scared about this being a really big number. Area will grow a lot quicker than the length will. It looks like 17 to 100, 144.5. It doesn't. It hasn't grown that much. It's grown a lot, but it hasn't grown that much. And then you look at the area, and it's grown hugely. But that's what happens. Um, so if you have, uh, if you uh, have a field, and you've just doubled the width of your field you've actually got a significantly larger area if you've doubled the width than the, than the length. So if you've grown the field outwards, you'll see that the area in the field is huge compared to what it was before, even if the width hasn't grown that much. Okay, so don't get scared by getting big numbers with this. Okay, And don't forget that the area scale factor is the linear scale factor squared.